starting Wednesday off by not taking the train or the bus, I get to ride my skateboard again. And this one. Hi guys, good it, morning. Where are you going to? Starbucks? I'm going to the train. What, you gonna go to Starbucks first? Maybe. I may go to a rave park. I haven't decided. We're, it'll be a game time decision. All right. I don't, I don't know what's happening today because I'm at work late. So. I got up and I worked out this morning. What? That, that's the whole excitement of today's vlog. I apologize. Yeah. Hey guys, it's a long time no see. Um, so Eric asked me to pop in for a few minutes and vlog today because he's super busy. And for once he understands when I was saying back in the day, oh my God, I'm so busy when I have work days and then I have to come home and I vlog. So he is at track practice right now and I'm gonna do a little, uh, well I'm vlogging right now, but I just cleaned the kitchen, I'm doing laundry, and I'm supposed to edit the build that I did yesterday of the Broken Token box organizer. Oh my god, this battery is dying. Always happens to me. I haven't even poured myself a glass of wine yet. That's how busy I am. I even picked up the dry cleaning today, which I've been meaning to do for like three days. Ooh, the computer came on, excellent. Um, let's see, what was today? Today was Wednesday. I agonized over emails today. That was that was pretty not exciting. Um, yeah, and then came home and got stuff done around the house. I, <laughs> Eric and I had a funny conversation today. He was asking me what was for dinner tonight, and I said, I don't know. What are you in the mood for? You know, I I had thought of a couple things, but it's always nice to like get his take his temperature on what he is interested in in eating for dinner. And so he was like, well. I've had a lot of chicken recently, so maybe not chicken. And of course, chicken was the thing I was thinking about cooking tonight. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, well, I guess I can make pretty much anything. Like I can make pork, I can make steak, I can make fish. Now, if you know Eric, you know that he does not eat fish, like at all. I happen to like fish from time to time. It's not my like, I'm gonna eat fish all the time, but I do enjoy fish, so. <laughs> He was like, gross, fish. I was like, fine then, I am gonna make fish and you can figure out your own thing. How often do I do that? How often am I the type of person who's gonna be like, nope, you're on your own, I'm gonna make something for myself, suck it. Well, I didn't say suck it, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I am making fish for myself tonight and Eric can eat whatever he wants. There are still leftover empanadas from his mom, there's yellow rice, um, he can order Chinese food. I don't care. He can do whatever he wants, but he is on his own because I'm eating fish tonight. So in just a little bit, I'm going to go cook dinner, but until Eric gets home, which I don't have that much time until Eric gets home, I'm going to try to edit the build that I did yesterday. And hopefully I can get that posted within the next day or two. I miss you guys. Yeah. I mean, I miss having this conversation. So like I said earlier, today was a difficult vlogging day. Um, I'm at work kind of late, get home later obviously, and there's nothing for me to do. I mean, I'm at work so I can't vlog while I'm at work. The only interesting thing that really happened to me today was I got some packages delivered. Um, couple of things. I got replacement blades for my Mavic drone because like I said when we were in Virginia and we tried to take off something went wonky and crashed it was probably a pilot error um, so I got some replacement blades so if it happens again I'll be ready got that also I received some eyedropper bottles let me get them out of the package the whole point of getting these bottles, little droplets, is when I'm painting miniatures, sometimes I'll need to water the paint down, or if you want to make what's called a wash, um, I'll need to add water, and I have to be kind of precise since the paint bottles that I use are droplet bottles. This helps being a little more precise with mixing water. So, droplet bottles. I got a, a book. 
This seemed kind of interesting, so I figured let's let's give this a read. The Civilized Guide to Tabletop Gaming. Rules every gamer must live by. I'll read it. Emma will read it. We'll let you know how it is. Um, I also got a mini or a micro hand drill, which came with some mini bits, micro bits, however you want to look at it. Um, let me grab a small one out of here. Show you what it looks. So a little bit goes in here. And the point of this is also for miniatures that I'm building. Um, some of the miniatures that I'm building, they're really small pieces, like the arms are that small and the body's that small. And trying to glue them together is really difficult. So what I read about is I want to do something called pinning. Um, you'll take a drill like this, probably not this bit because this bit is pretty big. There is a smaller one in here. I'll show up on camera. But that's teeny tiny little bit. Um, you'll drill into your plastic miniature and create a hole. Then you'll take a paper clip, clip paper clip, put it inside a hole, and it kind of strengthens the joint of the model that you're making. So, like a leg won't easily break off. Since these miniatures are actually used in a board game and not just for display, they can break kind of easily if you just glue these delicate pieces together. So we'll see how pinning goes when I start that. We'll record a whole segment of me attempting to pin miniatures. I'm sure it'll go horribly wrong. The other thing I got, which is really ridiculous, it's this magnifying glass headset, which you guessed it is once again more for painting miniatures. Um, I currently have a magnifying glass that has a light and trying to paint them while looking like this and focusing correctly, I don't know, I'm finding it difficult. So I got this ridiculous headset which I'm going to look ridiculous, but hopefully it'll help when I'm painting these miniatures. So here's the weird headset that I put on. All right, so that looks ridiculous. There's a light, it has a light too. No battery. And inside here are different um, lenses that I could attach comes with a cleaning cloth and comes with four different eye sets. Let's put one on and see how it looks. If I put this on now. So now I have these goofy glasses on, which I don't know how I look. I'm assuming I look pretty goofy. Um, let me pick something up. Oh, it's, oh yeah, that works. That works really nicely. All right, so I have this one. There are a couple of others. I'm not sure what the magnification on this one is. Oh, that works well too. Okay, oh, I can see a little bit better now. This is nice. And the last. Okay, so I can see somewhat better with this. It's not really magnifying, so this is probably the weaker one, obviously. One and a half times, two times, two and a half times, and a three and a half times magnification. So, yeah, it is dorky, but I think it's going to help when I go to paint some miniatures. That's it. That's, that's, that's my big haul for today. A goofy headset, a hand drill some extra bits, propellers, and a board gaming book. Oh, and some droplet bottles. Not very exciting, but I have some more things to play with. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See you later.